Mr. Daniel Yao Domilovo appeared at the audit service in the dying moments of the Mahama administration in December 2016. And since his swearing into office by President Akufuado, he became the darling boy of anti graft bodies, particularly within the civil society space. Many applauded his work as invitations poured out to him to speak on corruption in public life at various fora. He was soon to be faced with many accusations and controversies. The first matter to come up was with his accumulated leave. He was accused of not taking his annual leave as enjoined by the public services regulations. President Akufuado thus directed him to go on a 167-day compulsory leave, being accumulated leave for the period seemingly waived. This directive was met with what could only be described as public outreach, particularly from civil society. Many questioned the president's authority in view of the independence enjoyed by the office. The outspoken crusader for transparency and accountability in public life, Daniel Yao Domilovo, returned to work on Wednesday from his accumulated leave only to fresh demands for his immediate retirement. Correspondence exchanged between Mr. Domilovo and Chairman of the Audit Service Board, Professor Edward Duajiman, between 24th February and 2nd March 2021, points to series of questions on Mr. Domilovo's age and nationality. According to these correspondence, Mr. Domilovo changed his date of birth from 1st June 1960 to 1st June 1961. The board accordingly reckons that Mr. Domilovo should have retired from public office in June last year. The board also claims that Mr. Domilovo officially recorded his nationality as Togolese and not Ghanaian. Board Chairman Professor Dua Ajiman has thus disclosed in one of the letters that the matter has been referred to President Akufuado, who is the Auditor General's appointing authority for action. Prior to this, there were also accusations that Mr. Domilovo and his six deputies spent 3.3 million Ghana cities on foreign travels between January 1, 2017 and June 30, 2020. This stemmed from an audit into the foreign travels of management conducted by K&A Auditing Services, a private firm appointed by the Audit Service Board.